You know, the genocide did not stop after this first four million people. They were only the beginning. I'm not. I'm not going to read anymore. You know, I'm just going to save this. You know, I'll, I'll read it again. But but this article that I that I came across, man, is a, is a hell is a hell of an article, man. <laughs> Columbus Day American Holocaust and and, uh, and slave trader uh, by Roy Cook. All right. Um, let me just check something else. He did mention that um, that whole thing with with the uh, the world being flat or the earth being flat. He said that there was a Greek uh, scientist or something or another. Let me let me try to find it. Uh, go ahead and speak. This is Hosea thirteen fifteen. Though he be fruitful among his brethren, an east wind shall come that's some spaniards the wind of the lord shall come up from the wilderness and his spring shall become dry and his fountain shall be dried up and he shall spoil the treasure of all pleasant vessels and that's what they did when they came over here they stole the, they, they spoiled the treasures of all pleasant vessels samaria shall become desolate for she hath rebelled against her power they shall fall by the sword their infants shall be dashed in pieces Samaria kind of didn't happen in Samaria. This happened uh, because uh, the, the uh, tribe of Ephraim is, is, was uh, primarily living in Samaria. So that's what they were called Samaria. That's another name for uh, the tribe of Ephraim, Sam Samaria, right? You know, uh, it says, uh, I'm, I'm going to read this. I'm going to give this back to you, all right? It says, uh, contrary to popular legend, Columbus did not uh, prove that the world was round. Educated people had known that, that for centuries, Hundreds of years. The Egyptian Greek scientist Aristophanes, I believe it's pronounced, working for Alexandria and Aswan, already had measured the circumference and diameter of the world in the 3rd century B.C. Arab scientists have developed a whole discipline of uh, geography and measurements, and in the 10th, 10th century A.D., Al Mikdisi, if I'm saying it right, described the earth with a 360 degree degrees of longitude and 180 degrees of latitude. The, mo the monastery of St. Catherine in the Sin Sin Sinai still has an icon that was uh, painted 500 years before Columbus, which shows the Lord, all right, Jesus, ruling over a spherical earth. Nevertheless, Americans have embodied this. This is a, a polite word for stitching lies together. Uh, many such legends around Columbus. And he has become part of the secular mythology for uh, school children, like I said earlier, right? Um, and that's, that's it on that. That's, that's all I wanted to get into. The fact that they knew he didn't come up with that idea about the earth being round. That was well known, and that's in the scriptures. It says, uh, uh, Hosea thirteen sixteen. Samaria shall become desolate, for she hath rebelled against her power. They shall fall by the sword, their infants shall be dashed in pieces, and their women with child shall be ripped up. And with that, we're going to close. And uh, Lord willing, you know, today might be a good day. I'm going to bring down an extra camera besides the camera that we have. And I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do some street interviews and ask certain Edomites about what they feel about uh, Columbus Day. And we'll add it to the, to either this show or the, or the next show, you know. So with that, we're going to say Shalom.